especially important for sea otters, because unlike most marine mammals, sea otters do not have a blubber layer to keep themselves warm. So they rely entirely on that bird coat for warmth. Raise your eyes. However, even a warm, well-fed otter is not completely safe in its ocean environment. They still have to contend with one major threat happening in the areas that they live in, and this threat happens to be oil spills. Now, I'm sure many of you are familiar with the 1989 Exxon Valdez oil spill, in which about 3,000 sea otters were killed. Now, Nyan, who again is the otter I'm feeding this evening, she was only six months old at the time of the Exxon spill, and she became completely covered by it. She tried to groom herself clean, but ended up swallowing a lot of that oil and suffered internal damage. However, she was found by some volunteers at the disaster site and eventually made her way into the Vancouver Prairie Marine Mammal Rescue Program. Where is she right?
jangan begitu ini bongkong itu ini tak boleh. Good evening. This is just a reminder that in five minutes, the Vancouver Aquarium will be closing for the evening. Please begin to make your way to the exit located in the Bob Shell gift shop. Yeah. <laughs> 